Okay, this video follows very neatly on from um, the last video that you watched, uh, looking for techniques on how to cut acrylic. Now in that video, obviously, you were looking at creating a space rocket shape, but you will be using those techniques, or will have used those techniques, having been given this piece of acrylic by your teacher, uh, your task was then to cut out this central circle. The skills that you learned in the previous video are crucial in order that you get this out in one piece so that it actually ends up looking like this piece. Okay. Now when you've got this piece, this is going to make the front of our picture frame. But there are some other bits that we need to add to this, obviously, in order that it is complete. Uh, two of those things are these hockey stick shaped things here, which will be glued on in a moment in this position. And the third piece is this, which is going to make up the back. And hopefully you can see these engraved lines on here. Now these lines uh, are lines that you're also going to have to be cutting, but we're going to be using a slightly different tool for this. Because we are trying to cut a straight line, we will be selecting this, which is a hacksaw. Now ordinarily the hacksaw is used for cutting metal, but it cuts plastic sheet very effectively as well, because the teeth on it are so nice and small. Now you'll notice that the blade width here is considerably wider than the coping saw blade, which makes this a better choice if you're trying to cut a straight line. And obviously the coping saw was the perfect choice when we were trying to cut lines that were curved or not straight. Right, I'm going to be using a piece of masking tape here to mark out where the top of my lines is. Because when I put it in the metalwork vise, it's actually quite difficult to see. And I'm going to position tactically my piece of acrylic so that the line, the engraved line, is absolutely in line then with the top of my metalwork vise. And then I'm going to use this straight edge here as a guide for my hacksaw. And I'm going to be holding my hacksaw in a horizontal position, ensuring that there's a nice 90 degree angle between the blade here and the vice jaws. And then I'm going to very simply cut back and forward until I get to my masking tape line. You can see how useful that piece of masking tape is just in showing where I've got to stop. So now I'm going to turn the piece of acrylic over and repeat that process on the other side. Okay, let's take the hacksaw, ensuring that it's nice and horizontal at 90 degrees. Right, okay, so hopefully you can see that. And you can also see that my masking tape is really useful in that both of these have ended up being the same length. Right, we need to shape this now, and we're going to be using heat um, to form so that this section here is actually bent out like the stand on a picture frame. Okay, so I'm going to be using this machine uh, in front of me here, which is called a strip heater. Inside the strip heater, is a glowing red line, and that there is the thing that will provide our heat that will make this piece of plastic go soft. Now I'm going to be using this pair of pliers here, this happens to be a pair of long nose pliers, to position my piece of acrylic over the top of that hot red line. It's important that we get that line there, that central line, over the top of the red bit, because that's the part that we want heated. Now this strip heater creates very localised heat, so actually this side and this side will stay cool. It'll just be this bit in the middle here that becomes hot enough for us to actually bend it. So I'm going to heat through on one side, and then part way through that process, I'm going to turn it over, ensuring that I position it again so that it's in the middle, and we're going to get an even heat through. You may have to repeat that process a couple of times, whereby you heat it, and then you turn it again. Now it's important that we use pliers for this because obviously being metal everything around here gets extremely hot and you would burn yourself if you touched it. Okay, now I'm just going to hopefully you can see then on this video now that this section has actually become soft enough so that we can bend it. Now I want everybody to get the same result on their picture frame so we're going to be using a forming jig to get the correct angle here. We come down to here and I open the forming jig, you'll see I can lay my piece of acrylic in here and then when I put the top on, it sandwiches 
that side of the picture frame in there so that it's holding this area nice and flat for me but it's creating that nice bend on the back of the picture frame there. Now you hold it in there for a bit just to allow that to cool. This particular jig has been made so that actually four people can do theirs at the same time and we can do that to avoid some queuing. Now hopefully that's about enough now so that I can take that out and you can see that this now stands up on its back like that. Okay. Right, the last stage then is for us to be gluing up. Now, when we're gluing plastics, um, we tend to use um, this here, which is called acrylic cement, okay? And it's in this little dispenser bottle. It's vital that we use goggles with this. It's a very volatile liquid, means it can be splashed very easily. You should be able to get some glue out by depressing the top of the thing. If that doesn't work, and it sometimes doesn't work because the, the pot isn't quite full enough, then you can ask your teacher, he would take the lid off for you, and then you can use that. But you're going to be using a brush to transfer the glue. Now, this glue works on capillary action, so you don't need to paste it onto two surfaces. You're simply going to hold the pieces together that you want glued, take your brush to it, and you're going to touch your brush up against that joint, and it will then flood very happily between those two surfaces. Once that's glued, you can go around to the next one. Now the space between these at the bottom here, I'm sure most of you will have worked out, is where the little leg of our frame is going to be sitting. So this is going to make up the bottom of the frame. And this open bit is going to make up the top. And the reason that it's open is obvious. It's where you're going to slide the picture in. So then the back is going to go on like this. And then you're going to slide the picture in there. And that's going to be held captive at the bottom. So to glue that on, I'm going to hold that together like that. And I'm going to paint my glue along that edge. It will sink between those two surfaces. And then we're going to repeat that process on the back. You may need to brush on a couple of times. That's it. Finished frame.